Welcome back Team Fever, back again with another video and I'm back with another taste test video and as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be tasting, oh actually these got a lot of green in them so let me just try to cover, alright it's a lot of green inside the, um, the box so I'm trying to cover up all the green Jolly Rancher cereals, but the Jolly Rancher cereal! This is what I'm about to be tasting, and I don't have high expectations for these at all. Jolly Rancher is very good tasting candy, but I don't think that it will taste good inside of a cereal. So, but not much to, sorry. Not much to say about this one though. Let's just get right into the tasting of this. I, I, I don't have high expectations for this at all, to be honest. I, I really, I saw it inside Walmart or Meyer or some type of grocery store, and I just was like, well, you know, it looks gross, but it might look like a good YouTube video. So let me just try it for my viewers and see how I like it so that they won't have to waste their money and buy it. I'll just waste mine and do it. Let's get to the video. Ah, I can't even show. I can't even like show me opening this. Sorry if I have to edit this part because it's a lot of green inside this. The green is actually a really good taste in Jolly Rancher hard candy, but I don't know about this cereal. Let's see. Oh my god, they smell so good. They smell just like Jolly Rancher, which is, you know like the little, the soft Jolly Ranchers, the chewy ones? That's what these smell like. They smell really, really good. Should I try one dry? Actually, I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna just, you know, put it inside the bowl first. Let me pour it this way. A ton of green ones came out with that too. So here's my milk. Ugh, you know. Add that to the grossness of this. I keep saying it's gross, so I don't know that. I really don't know that. So let me just. It smells good, dry, it looks good inside of a bowl, but let's see how is it actually gonna taste. Mm, okay. Alright. Let's go right into a. I got her two reds, one blue, or I'm assuming that's supposed to be blue and a green. These actually don't taste as bad as. You know what? These. No, they're gross. Never mind. I was gonna say, well, actually, tricks. If you're a fan of tricks cereal, I think tricks are gross. So these actually do remind me a lot of tricks. A little bit more sweet than tricks. Still gross. I would never buy them again. And like they really trick you with this crap because why is it that they only come out inside of a family size? I had to cover up the green. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, they only come out inside of a family size, so you gotta buy this big old box if you wanna try them. But if you want my advice, I will say nope, don't try them. Wait till you go over to some friend who was stupid enough to buy them, like my house, and <laughs> just ask to have some. And make sure you only put a little tiny bit inside your bowl like I did. Try it, and then you can come to the conclusion that you don't like it, just like I do. But if you're a fan of tricks, or if you got little small kids, they, they would like this. But to be honest, you can just buy tricks. They're, they're pretty gross. But that's really it for this video. I know it's short, but that's all I really have to say about this cereal. Would not recommend it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it probably a... Hmm, I never liked Trick cereal, so I would give that a 0. So, I guess I would give it a 0. 0 out of 10. No redeeming qualities. Maybe for little kids that like a lot of sugary and colors and all that stuff, but not for me at all. So, I would give this a 0 out of 10. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.